The mouth is the window on the body, and there's now good evidence that Alzheimer's disease is linked to gum disease or periodontitis. My Smile is a groundbreaking study. We treat gum disease for Alzheimer's patients, and we measure whether that dental treatment slows their cognitive decline. If our hypothesis is right, then we recommend that Alzheimer's patients have good access to dental care and they're seen on a regular basis to ensure they're dentally fit. This will help their general health and improve their quality of life. MySmile is a National Institute for Health Research funded randomised control trial and it follows on from the pilot study that we completed in 2020. Our target was to recruit 50 participants to the MySmile study with either Alzheimer's disease or mild cognitive impairment who also had periodontitis. Randomise these to either control, which means carry on as you are, or treatment as designed by a periodontal specialist. Then assess their dental health and cognition at the start of the study and after 6 and 12 months. My role as part of the study is to take a thorough dental history and a thorough dental examination, particularly focusing on the gum health of the participant. From there, we create a diagnosis and a treatment plan. And for those that are taking part in the treatment, we'll make a gold standard treatment plan and carry this out over a period of a couple of months. At six and 12 months, we'll then review the patient and we'll go from there. The key to the success of the study would be the engagement of the participants. And this has far exceeded our expectations. 18 months down the line, we've had excellent engagement from all of the participants over all of the visits. Research has got to represent people from all sections of the community because everybody is affected by health. My role was to assist the researchers to co-design the Mouse Mile study program in terms of recruiting uh, the patients. The researchers were really good and they reassured us we built a good rapport and we hope to continue to build that relationship with those MySpile study researchers. I'm involved in the data collection part of the MySmile study. So I do memory assessments with the participant and also questionnaires uh, with their carer or family member that attends with them. One of the potential benefits that I've already seen in our patients for the study is that they feel empowered and involved in their care and their diagnosis. They get time to ask questions. I know the carers appreciate the time and the space to ask about dementia and also they feel more empowered in their own dental hygiene. We've had an overwhelmingly positive response from the families taking part. They very much enjoy being part of a wider community and giving back to research and being able to offer hope to others as well. It's too soon to confirm whether we have a difference between the intervention and the control group in cognition and dental scores, but the first participants are attending their final appointments. Ultimately, we will use all the information gained in MySmile to design a definitive study which will answer the question, can the treatment of periodontitis slow the progression of Alzheimer's? <laughs>